Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hi guys, I'm Pak Slamet, your English teacher. Just like another day, let's study together. Today, we will talk about past tense. But today, I will tell you about the concept of to inside past tense. So, let's make a small review about the past tense. What is past tense? Past tense is a tense expressing an action that has happened or a state that previously existed. When we want to tell about a certain story, we must use this kind of tense. Past tense. Why? Because we talk about the past event, right? The other question. When, when we use when we use past tense, we use past tense simple to talk about things that happen in the past. Here I have a small illustration for you. This is so simple. In general, we can separate the tense become three types of tense. The first one is the present tense. The second one is the future tense. And the last one we have past tense. The other question will appear on our mind. What makes them different? From this picture, we know that something makes them different because of the time. Let's talk about the adverb of time of past tense. Here I have several examples of the time expression for past tense. We have yesterday, last week, last month, last year, a year ago, the day before, or the week before. Even, we can also state the year, for example, in 2010, because this year is 2020, we can say that 2010 as the past even. Now, let's get to the main point. The concept of two on past ten. And what is all about? Gentlemen, look at this sample below. I talked to her yesterday. Once again, I talked to her yesterday. Both of the two words, talked and yesterday, are in red. Why? Because both of yesterday and talked will connect each other. Because yesterday indicate past even. So the verb 
that is going to be used must be verb to. And talked here is as verb to. Okay, now you can have a take a look to this one. When we talk about talked, we can also find the elements. How can the word constructed? Talked is coming from did times talk. Now, you try to keep on your mind did as to and talk as one. Why one? Because basically, talk is for one. Back to the concept again. Did times talk is equal to talked. Because did is two and talk is one. So two times one is equal to two. As the proof, talked is verb two, right? So the value will be appear must be two. Now, I'm gonna give you some example. Did time study is equal to studied. Two times one is equal to two. Studied as a verb two, right? And study is verb one. I think we must agree about that. That's simple, right? Okay, now go on. The second example, example two. Did times go is equal to when. This is the irregular type of up to. Two times one is equal to two. Now check. Do you think that when is verb two? Yes, the answer is correct. When is verb two. That is why I just have to write two as the final. Well, in past tense, there will be three forms. The first one is the positive sentence. The second one is the negative sentence. And the third one, or the last one, will be interrogative sentence. Now, please have a take a look to this sample. I saw her on the mall last week. I saw her on the mall last week. Because saw is verb to, we can split it, become two different parts. Did and see. Did as two, see as one. I did see her on the mall last week. Did is two, right? And C is one, because that is for one. Now, let's try to compare between positive and negative sentence of past tense. Let's start with the positive one. I saw her on the mall last week. Did times C is equal to saw. Because did is two and C is one. So two times one is equal to two. Go on with the negative. I didn't see her 
on the mall last week. My question is, do we have the same deed on the second sentence? The answer is yes. Both of in positive or negative, we have did. We are also have C, and the value of C is one. So, actually, we have the same mathematic concept here. Between two times one is equal to two. But on the negative, you just add not after did or didn't. I think that's not typical, right? Go on. Now, let's continue with the interrogative sentence. Let me repeat. I saw her on the mall last week. Dead times C is equal to saw. Two times one is equal to two. On the interrogative sentence, did can be represented by two and C with one. Two times one is equal to two. At the end, on the positive sentence, we have two. On the negative sentence, we have two also. And on the interrogative sentence, we have also two, another two. So when I can say something short, that past 10 has a constant value. I mean, the same value, no matter in positive, negative, or interrogative sentence. The value is similar. <laughs> that is two. Okay, gentlemen, time for exercise. Here, I have three questions. And those are about the past thing. And then the form will be in positive, negative, and interrogative sentences. Now let's start from question number one. The family, blah, 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 to another town two weeks ago. And the options are A. Move, B, moved, C, moving. So what is the answer? The answer is B. Why? Two weeks ago indicate past tense, while the value of past tense is two. When moved, is verb two or two because did times move is equal to moved. Two times one is equal to two. And the mathematics is really simple. Question number two. My friend didn't blah, 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 to the party last Sunday. A, come. B, came. C, coming. Okay, now, let's discuss about the answer. The answer for question number two is A. Because the last Sunday indicate past tense, so there should be the value of two. Let's make it short. Did times blah, blah, blah is equal to came and came here as a verb two. Or in mathematics, we can say two times blah, blah, blah is equal to two. 
Can you answer the question? Two times blah 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 is equal to two. Okay, and the blank spaces should be filled with one because two times one is equal to two. So the answer should be in fourth one. That is come. The last question, question number three. I have a short dialogue between John and Mary. John says something like this. Did you study blah, blah, blah? I mean, I'm sorry. Did you study English blah, 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 blah? And Mary answered with, yes, I did. And here I have three options. Tomorrow, A, today, B, and last night, C. The answer is C. Did time study is studied. Two times one is equal to two. Because studied or verb to or to can be said as past, so the adverb of time should indicate past also. Now, let's talk about the options. Tomorrow is future. Today is present. Last night is past. Like we have discussed before, that studied indicate the past. So the answer must be last night. That is why I give the answer of C. Okay, gentlemen, I think this is the end of our study. And then I hope that you can do some exercise at home. You can compose several sentences of past tense, no matter in positive, negative, or even in interrogative sentence. Thank you very much. I'll see you around next time. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.